Hey there, my name is Chris, and I use Maya on Linux. And right now we're having a bit of issues. I've been trying to get it to run on uh, more modern Linux distributions that aren't stuff like uh, Red Hat or Rocky or Alma, which uh, Autodesk officially supports. But um, us adventurous folk, we really like using the, de the distributions that we want to use. That's the great things about Linux is that there's so many options out there that suit different people's needs. So um, if I do a fast fetch here, I could show you my system runs uh, Fedora 41. And right now I'm using the Mate desktop and uh, the GNOME terminal right now on NVIDIA. So right now there's a bit of an issue trying to get Maya running on more modern distributions like Fedora 41. And it all has to do with this Autodesk Identity Manager. So if I just try to launch Maya with the command line here, you'll see it gives me this error. And um, if I quit it, it gives me a uh, log file to go look at. So if I cat this log file, you could see that it has something to do with this WebView 2 nonsense. And uh, this WebView 2 is actually talking a bit about uh, something called the Autodesk Identity Manager. So if I go over to my other desktop, there's actually, Autodesk actually knows that this is a problem. This person was trying to run on Fedora 39 and um, they've been getting this uh, error here. And then after installing WebView GTK3, um, now they get the error that I have, which the funny thing is that this WebView error, this WebView app is actually a Windows application as far as I'm aware, which is really weird. And the people at Autodesk know that this is a problem. And uh, if we look more about this identity manager, this thing started, this thing came out around August of 2024. And it seems like it's very strict about what it wants to run on because it's part of the Autodesk DRM. And specifically the main thing here that I thought could be the biggest issue is that it wants to run on X11, not Wayland, which is extra weird because I use uh, Mate, which is a X11 desktop. And uh, just scroll here, they even tell you how to blacklist Wayland from your Rocky Linux installation. And then uh, all, it's all because it runs on specific X11 code, which X11 has stuff that allows you to communicate with other elements of your system. And uh, they're actively trying to work on getting Wayland up and running on this because the next version of Red Hat's going to drop <laughs> X11 in favor of Wayland to try to get uh, Wayland up and running and better supported on things. And same thing with Fedora 41. If you install it now, you're going to have to install Xorg on your own which uh, locks out a lot of legacy stuff, but uh, it's all in the sake of making uh, monitors better on uh, Linux. So then if we go here, how do we actually solve this problem? So all, it, it's a pretty simple fix. It took me a bit to find out, but uh, all you have to do is uh, using your uh, package manager, you're gonna have to find out where the identity manager is. So if we do a DNF list, grep do adsk this will list all the autodesk stuff relating to the drm the last thing in here that's supposed to be here is adl maps but that is not relevant to what we're doing it all has to do with this identity manager so all we need to do is a sudo dnf remove and then highlight this paste it in type in my super secret password and then it's gonna remove the identity manager from our system. And then now if we launch Maya, it's going to launch perfectly fine. And uh, it's a bit of a headache because this identity manager actually um, launches itself. It installs itself on its own every 12 hours and it gets really, really annoying. So now I can use Maya perfectly fine. And uh, when I was using this back on Wayland, when I did this, tried to do this video, I had some stuttering. So yeah, this is, Maya is still an ex-Wayland app. So 
I guess you should be running Maya on an X11 DE anyway, or your X11 session on whatever you're using. And uh, you should be just fine. I can just go and use Maya like I normally could. And uh, there you go. It's all about this ADS uh, Autodesk Identity Manager. So um, the further along Autodesk gets on to fixing this, the easier it'll be for us to use Maya on an, our Linux distributions. So uh, Autodesk, get on that because we're, we're a rising bunch. We see Pixar and Disney using it and uh, using Linux, and we want to follow suit because Windows blows chunks. <laughs> and uh, my MacBook is not powerful enough to run uh, a lot of the stuff I want, especially games. So uh, there you go. I jumped off on a tangent there, but that's how you fix this Autodesk licensing issue.